Peekaboo! All right, guys, what we got us is a tanker, obviously. Flew off the freeway. I got the car from uh, Omar at Tide and Tow over here. Good to be working another job with them. We're gonna use our taters to bring this bad boy up. I haven't confirmed the weight yet, but it's either minimal or, or empty, which is gonna be easy. Now, if you can see from here, we're at a pretty ugly steep grade. So by just winching it forward only, uh, first of all, it's right next to that tree. You'll tear off the whole uh, passenger side, but you'll flip it. You'll, you'll flip it just winching it forward. So another way to alleviate that is to just attach with the rotator the rear and follow him. But as the wrecker all the way up there winches it all the way forward, the rotator will run out of boom. You'll have to keep re-rigging, re-rigging. So that's why I'm here. We're just gonna bring up the whole baby and put it right here in one smooth shot. Should make for a nice video, some good teamwork, and we'll get it done really quick. So I'm gonna get the Omar's wrecker to back up parallel to me so he could use his boom to attach to the front pin. When we bring this up, my goal is to put that straight on the underlift. You want him an angle? No. no. Before, push him more that way. The goal is because we have two rotators on it. And him to the front will bring up the whole thing here. I'm going to put it straight on his underlift. Straight in one shot. Straight onto the underlip from the embankment. That's the goal.
The front bumper's bent. What if you go the other way? Put put it in the other way. What about uh can't put the pin in it though? Well that'll hold like that. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're gonna be putting side tension on it. Maybe I can. Hold on, maybe I can work some of that. Alright, Hulk, let's start attaching my slings to the landing gear. Well, I've been here no more than 10 minutes. As you guys saw, I had to rig to the other side really quick. But we're done. Let me just get my boom in position. I got Omar's guy in position. Omar's in position in the back of the trailer. All right. By the way, this thing's empty. I wish I could lie and say we're bringing up a 40,000 pound tanker, but eh, empty. Still though, being able to do this in one shot, bring it up and then put it straight on the underlift, that Pepe's finesse. Let me just put some tension on mine and then we're good to go. Hold on. Okay, are you ready? Ready. I'm gonna stand on the front. Let's all start going. We're ready. What prevented this driver from going completely over is the, those trees. Hold it, Omar! Go in with the cables. Well, yeah, one at a time. There you go. Thank you. That's fast. Okay, sir, hold it right there. I gotta... I told you, fast. So just put some tension on more. Expect it to go this way a little bit, okay? I'll tell you when. Right there, right there, right there. In fact, boom down, boom down and extend out. Yeah, you're good right there. Just hold it there. My turn. Too high. 
Okay, that, that's all you now. Go in with the cables, please. Straighten it out for us. What? You gotta straighten it out for us, bro. Start going in with the cables. Go in. Start boom, start booming up. Booming up? Boom up and in with the boom. All right, let me help you. Okay, hold it. Back. You know what I didn't notice? These don't go out, do they? Damn it. That's part of the issue. Let me try something. To re rig really quick, drop an auxiliary line will help out. I should have caught this first, but I didn't realize that those outriggers don't extend. So, there we go, Omar. I got it from here with the auxiliary cable. So, what I'm doing is I'm only going in with the auxiliary cable. Much better, right? Still tipping it though. You want me to release or? No, boom up. Slowly. It, it's gonna break. Especially if I do this. some more I'm gonna help you out okay don't stop don't stop with the cables there you go you got it there buddy cables only straighten it out use the other one too yeah it was buried man okay hold it there hold it there that was bad see a little quick re-rig with the auxiliary cable right here. Did the trick. Had he had those outriggers that extend out, we would have needed to do that, but two minute re-rig. Oh, that was bad, dude. Check it out, it's all straight. This thing holds, this whole thing slid on me right now. Hey, you know what? It's only the rear. Yeah, but and I don't want to slide. No, no, off. I know what you mean. I told you this would this wouldn't work, man. Now we're, this is gonna be the cool part to put it right on his underlip. So wait, I'll wait till you tighten up. Let me boom down and extend out, yeah.
tighten up on my cables. The other one. Okay, ready with the winches. You're, you're strong now, keep going. Bring it up, don't stop. Okay, hold it. We're done, this is it, last one. Now, for this part, now you can drop the boom. Let's drop your boom so your underlift will land underneath uh, the axle. So you're gonna be extended out with the boom, but fully down, okay? Okay, boom is dropped. I mean, under lift, ready? Going? Yep, keep going. You're doing great. Just to get it out, and yep. bring it back down. So you can get over all that crap? Hold on, let me help him with this one, Omar. Oh, oh hold on. Right there. Oh. Omar, make sure you drop your rear end, okay? Start letting out with your cables. I want touchdown. You're good there. Hold it. Okay, now can you go in with your two cables? In? Yes, cables in. Drop the right one. Other one, other one, other one. What? My right eye, man. <laughs> there, now, now you're pretty straight. Dude, you can get it from there. Then get to the forks, see what forks you need, and then go down, go up with your winches, and then set it on your fork. Hey, if you want, man, Omar and I can lift up the whole thing and even swing it on, but see how that looks. Wow, look at all that dirt. Yeah, at least, at least the axle's not all jacked up or twisted. And then play with the, the cables. All the way, all the way. Oh, you got it. Now from here is easy. Hold it. Go in with this one more and let out with that one. He has to go through a band, doesn't he? Good. More. Now let out with this one. More. Hold it. Okay, an underlift tilt up. Hold it. More. Beautiful, bro. Now start letting out with the cables. Both of them. Go up. Go in with the cables. Straighten out your fork on that side. Ah, so close, so close. Get out of here. Okay, now retract the underlift. Go in with it, tuck it in. Now, now tilt up. 
Retract and tilt. Retract with the underlift. Good. Now, underlift tilt up. If I tilt up, it's going to extend. Then let out with this cable only. There you go, more. You got it. All right, so quick uh, change of forks. These are the little mini Lego ones. You see how it's just standing right there? They don't go in all the way because these Volvos have a wider axle. So you just swap them out with the thicker ones that are wider. You got it. And these are the much wider forks. Oh yeah, bro. Now you got it. That took longer than the rollover. Because the right and the left. Because that's my left and your left, right. Yeah. Whole time I was holding it here for safety on this one. And then with the main cable, but we're done. We can fully disattach. I don't even know how long this video will be. But I think we did it too fast. Good, good, good. No injuries. The driver's here, and he's actually a fan of my channel. When I showed up, he told me that uh, he was recently watching that tanker video I did with SNR. If you want to check that out afterwards, it'll be in the end credits. What are the odds, huh? Everyone's a fan until they need me. So Hulk is de-rigged. Now it's just the fun part of putting the trucks away. Walmart's de-rigged as well. well. I'll get back to you right now when the straps are in my truck. Just like that, Hulk is put away. We're pretty much done hooking up. Good job, bro. The good thing, I don't know if you guys can see from right here, but where I'm standing is an exit lane, New Downey. It's pretty huge. So we were able to work the entire job on the exit lane and keep the whole freeway open. We got one, two, three, four lanes, plus the HOV, AKA carpool lane. Power of the rotators, baby. We're out of here. Peace out. Oh, hey, by the um, by the way, if you guys are watching this to the very end, I know I said my famous peace out, but I just hit 100,000 subscribers while I was on this call. So I'm ecstatic, beyond happy about that. Could not have done it without the fans that watch my stuff week in, week out. Who would have thought a silly little boy in this tow truck we get so many views and become so popular, but as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making them. Now I'm peace out.